What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with another edition of WWE Action Figure Surgery. It's an exciting one, man. We got the Profits in here. It's Elite Series 103 time. We got a lot of members from that way featured here. Didn't put the big dog in here. Just not enough meat on the bone, really, to make a difference. And then Bobby Lashley, I kind of wanted to keep his head sculpt on there because I wanted to change up. Three other Bobby Lashleys have that pissed off head sculpt. So I was like, you know what, bro? Well, we're just going to roll with it. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of like the pissed off head sculpt on the rest of them. And then everything else we got here man i think we got some good stuff going on but here we are wwe action figure surgery should be a good day i'm excited for it nonetheless man if you guys are unaware of what this is it's basically a customization series where i take a bunch of figures that we recently got in or just ideas that pop into my brain and we deliver them in figure form here and showcase it to the world here so th this is what we're doing i can't remember what episode this is i want to say it's 88 or 89 maybe we we may even be higher than that but we're slowly approaching wwe action figure surgery episode 100 which should be a spectacle. Don't even know what the hell we're going to do for that. Maybe we'll actually do actual surgery on something. That got real weird. But here we are today, man. We got some figures featured. Let's go ahead and shut the hell up and dive into what we're going to be doing today on this edition of WWE Action Figure Surgery. Now, we always start off with the guy on the stretcher, and right now we are starting out with our newly acquired WWE Elite 103 Stardust slash Cody Rhodes figure over here, man. I mean, just look at the transition, man. You got the Stardust, you got the Ultimate Cody over here. Just unbelievable. This figure, by the way, you guys should be receiving... If you pre-ordered the Mattel Creations exclusive Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes, I mean, I would think that that figure would be in stock, like, any day now. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want to say, like, you should have it before August. I'd say, like, before July ends, you should have that figure. But I thought it would already be in. But nonetheless, here we are with our Stardust figure. And what we're going to be doing here, if you guys were unaware, they actually gave this guy the wrong boots. We were waiting on this figure for a very long time, and they gave us the wrong boots. This is not the right boots that he wore at the event. These are like regular laced boots. This is not what we're going to use. We're going to be putting elite, I don't know, 16 Heat Slater boots or something like that. They, it, it was the same style boots that he always wears, right? The elite Cody Rhodes. These style boots. It's laceless boots. Some guys wear laceless boots. Cody Rhodes is one of them, and he did it when he was Stardust as well. So we're going to be doing a boot swap there to make it more accurate. He had black laceless boots, and that'll make this figure more accurate and you guys know we love accuracy over here brad so we're gonna put that onto our stardust figure even though i really you know i'm not like a crazy head for stardust accuracy but i do love cody rhodes and uh i, I just think it'll look better aesthetically anyway so we're gonna be doing that fix up we also have a cool fix up here now i don't think we'll be able to complete this one today because i could I, like i guess i can explain it right quick i thought i had extra elite 69 chompa pants I, I, I swore but i can't really get into my cloth goods drawer because my closet's so damn full of figures sub to the patreon go check out our patreon link in the description below we did a full closet tour and i showcased every figure and all these different things in my closets i have three closets in my home full of action figures and collectibles and i go through them in pretty good detail on our Patreon. That's a Patreon exclusive video not posted to YouTube. But here we go with this Ric Flair. So what I want to do is I want to put black boots. So I got to take these yellow boots off, slide these green knee pads off, put regular black boots like these on there, which this probably won't stand. But again, I want to put Chompa pants on there and then put the Unrivaled Series 2 Mox head on here so I can have an elite Mox that poses around nice that isn't in damn shield legs. And I'm probably going to get custom claw pants from ebay or something for this but i cannot use the unrivaled two mocks man it's just not plausible it's really dumb it's awful and horrific if you own that figure you know what i'm talking about it, it's pretty much impossible to fed with so or it's just it's not worth the energy so that is another thing we're going to be doing we're also going to be fixing up Liv morgan back here now Liv morgan this should be very interesting i got a few things to do here we have three different Liv Morgans here. We're going to be picking these three figures to make kind of a, a an ultimate, not an ultimate edition, but an ultimate Liv Morgan fix-up. We're going to be head swapping it. I'm going to be putting this, this Elite 85 head sculpt over here, and then I'm going to be switching the knee pads on this because I don't like how big these things are. I think they have more personality than the standard black knee pads on this Trish Stratus, but you guys can see how much bigger the Liv Morgan knee pads are compared to the Trish Stratus, so we're going to be switch switching those three together. Should be really easy money. Not not a big deal there. Shouldn't 
you know, cause me any lack of sleep. I'm also taking my custom MDT Dolph Ziggler Elite. Now, I got this as a gift from Venomine Figs. OG people know who Venomine Figs is, man. Wish he would come back one day. Who knows? But this MDT Ziggler right here was made by BEW and Venomine Figs. It's got, like, the MDT logo on the butt, like, hand-painted. This is, like, six years old or something like that. Five, six years old now. We're gonna be head-swapping it because I kind of like the likeness over here on this, uh, I think this is the Chase Basic, the most recent Dolph Ziggler Basic. Picked this up out in LA on WrestleMania weekend when we went out there for Mania, and I'm gonna be head-swapping these two. I think that'll make for a pretty cool fix-up. I really wish this was an Elite, man. I really wish this was an Elite, and I would put this on, you know, the Elite 70 Ziggler or the Chase or even the SummerSlam Elite, but until I get more versions of that figure, I'm not gonna be doing any fix-ups because I like the ponytail head sculpt, so we will be checking out that figure as well. And then for our main event, the figures that I'm most excited for to fix up, we're going to be head swapping our Montez Ford figures. We have this right here. Now, originally, we fixed up this figure on surgery, and we gave him a fade haircut. We gave him a thicker beard, and it just looks better to me. So we're going to be putting this head sculpt onto the new Elite 103 Montez Ford, but we're also going to be getting rid of of these god-awful Cena shoes, and we're going to be putting Jack's Deluxe Aggression Cena shoes on there. So, I don't know if, um, I'm going to probably look at the Ultimate shoes, like these are John Cena Ultimate shoes. I feel like they're probably going to be too big. I feel like these may fit Angelo Dawkins better, so we're just going to play around with it. I think what I'm going to do, and I know this has, like, this skin tone's not going to match Montez Ford or Angelo Dawkins on these Deluxe Aggression Cena shoes, but I plan on painting that black, so we're going to shove that up in there, and then I'm going to paint the, the ankles black because they are wearing these, like, you know, the, the black tights or the black leg sleeves. So we'll be doing that. And then I also, I, like, I guess if the Ultimate Edition shoes don't work, I'll put these blue shoes in here. Because I feel like the blues are very close. They're very, very similar. And I know it's not accurate, but that's why I ordered another extra set of profits. Because we're going to go wild with those guys on surgery. I'm going to put basketball sleeves on these guys. We're going to we're gonna get creative on the next episode. I bet these guys will be on the next episode of surgery. As well so we'll, we're gonna have fun with that we'll play around with it we'll see what comes of it and uh get all that stuff done but yeah we're gonna be fixing up these street profits these are the ones i'm most excited for because i think that it's really good the literal only thing holding these guys back is lack of lower leg cut which would have been amazing and then these Cena shoes that makes them fall flat on their face. But besides that, these are two of my favorite figures we've seen from Mattel this year. And it's not even close. I mean, it may be close. We'll see. You know, we'll, we'll get into that. The SummerSlam Ziggler is definitely up there. But let's shut the hell up, dive into surgery, get this thing started, and get to moving. All right, fellas, let's get it started. And lady fellas, you know, I genuinely don't know how many females watch my channel. On a consistent basis, I'm going to go less than 20. I'm going to go less than 20. If there are ladies that watch on a consistent basis, sound off down in the comment section below. Nonetheless, let's get this thing started. I can't wait to get these damn shoes off this Montez 4, bro. No, like, get, get this out of my mouth. Let's start things off with the, the simple things of life, man. Some of these things should be really simple because, I mean, again, uh, like, the WWE and Mattel are modern, not, blah, 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 modernizing. They're modernizing these things and making it not so damn impossible. So, we do have to get these little mini knee pads off of the Trish Stratus figure. We know this. We got to get this head sculpt off of this Liv Morgan figure. We know that. And this, we have to get the boots off. We can already remove the head. God, that's a long neck peg. I hope that doesn't give me trouble. She has a giraffe neck like my Rhea Ripley that everybody likes to destroy in the comment section. That's going to upset me. I'm going to be upset about that. Not that you guys comment. I want, this is a democracy. You got free speech around here. You can sign off down in the comment section below. However, it's going to upset me if, if that head sculpt sits like way up here like an empty. Empire State Building. That's going to piss me off, but we're going to heat up these basic boots down here at the same time because we don't have to heat up the head sculpt, so this should all be fair game right there. That all right there should absolutely work. Now, I'm trying to think of what else we could possibly do here at the same time. I feel like, I don't know if we could get it all, but I feel like we could get a pretty good portion of the stuff. Like, it's not, we're, we're not going to be able, we're going to have to do two hair dryers. You, know, you guys know that I like to try to limit the amount of hair dryer usage, you know. White Trusty Hair Dryer has a long career ahead of himself as far as I'm concerned. However, you know, uh, and I'm not one for load management, you know what I'm saying? Play the damn game, you know. Get in the game that you're paid millions to play. Get in there. Be a competitor. Be a damn athlete. Compete. Win. But, yeah, you know, I, 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 we're, I don't like to do multiple hair dryer usages. Because, first of all, 
There's a hundred lights in here. It's burning me alive on a consistent basis. And then you get the hair dryer going. I'm wearing a long sleeve. There's a heater on the floor. I'm sweating. I mean, there's lots of things to unpack there, but uh, I kind of want to see if I can get these Ric Flair boots off as well. I like, I low key want to risk it, but I also don't want to because if I can't get it, I'm going to be upset. But I might just place this in here and see what we can get going. See if we can kind of finagle this right there. And I, I will be, I will be genuinely shocked if we get all of this. It will genuinely shock me to my core. If we get all of this heated up, loose, ready to go in one full swoop, will absolutely shock me to my core. But I've seen crazier things play out on WWE action figure surgery. So what we're going to do is get the white trusty hair dryer, shut the hell up, let him go to work and see if we can actually get all this in one fell swoop. All right, Brad, let's see what we got going. Hopefully, we can actually get everything in one fell swoop. That was a pretty long time, I'd like to imagine. Like, it, it seemed like a long time. We'll see about that, but we won't know until we pop the stuff off. This is very hot, but we got it right there. Now, one thing about it is we can't slide on the other uh, the other boots until we get these knee pads off, but we did get that. These Ric Flair figures, uh, I think I ended up buying two more on Amazon because, like, Guys, you need to check. If you don't have Amazon Prime, first of all, get Amazon Prime. But also, they have really good figure deals like all the time, like figures for like 10 bucks, 12 bucks, 15 bucks. And sometimes I'll just get on there and snipe stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll, I'll, I'll get on there and pick up figures. Like, I got a Jeff Hardy Elite Top Talents for like 15 bucks the other day. So that was great. Okay, we got those boots on there. And then we got to pop this off. And then uh, we'll probably pop the John Moxley head sculpt on there at the end or when we heat up the others. We'll leave that for now. Ric Flair is all good. Now we got some Ric Flair fodder for, for other reasons. Next up is Liv Morgan. Got that off. We need to slide this knee pad off. Was it Shotzi Blackheart? Was it her figure that we just like took the knee pads off and said F it? We didn't even like give her any new knee pads. Like, we didn't even care exactly what came of it, but... Here's Trish. She's in the crowd anyway, so I really do not care if she has uh, if she has knee pads on because they're going to go in the crowd anyway. I think this is actually back-to-back -back action figure surgery episodes where this Trish Stratus figure was actually featured. So that's kind of wild that we got back-to-back -back Trish Stratus sightings here on uh, WWE action figure surgery. But uh, now we're going to pop this on. That's a thick peg right there, son. Urgh. That's not even going in there. It's because they're both squishy. They're both squishy. I don't like that. What I'm going to do is uh, leave that off and then I'll heat up the boot after these pegs cool and then they'll be easier to go on that's the way that works but uh i do need to get these kick pads of the trish back on after we uh slide this onto the Liv morgan so the Liv morgan figure getting some pretty nice fix-up work here uh there is that and we'll put the pegs up we'll see we'll check it at the end but uh i do want to try and put this back on here see it doesn't work when the pegs flimsy and the kick pads flimsy because then you just have two flimsy things trying to, you know, wiggle together. Doesn't really work that way. There's Stardust Boot, other boot. Could have just put these boots on Ric Flair or the, the John Moxley, but I digress. There is the laceless boots. Same thing, like both of them are flimsy, so you're running into issues there. God in heaven, I'm sweating. These freaking boots aren't going on. Ah, Christ on a bike. Okay, I got that. I gotta get this one on there. Dude, why will this not go in? Like, that's so freaking annoying. Jesus. Let's see if the Liv Morgan kick pads will go back on here. Um... Yeah, that's pretty flush there. And then this one. Hopefully that Liv Morgan head sculpt over there hasn't uh, cooled off amongst all this chaos that we got going on right now. Dude, what is up with these damn, like, the flimsies? God, I'm not... I gotta heat up these independently now. Damn, that pisses me off. Here's the Liv Morgan. Don't give me a giraffe neck. Please. Please. All right, got that on there. We will take a closer look at that in just a moment. All right, what the hell was next? Oh, my God. God, can't believe I have to heat these up now independently. That's so stupid. But I guess I can put the Elite 103 live head sculpt on this Riot Squad figure. Now I can put this in the crowd, I guess, if I want to. Look at that. That's a pretty cool fix-up. I think that looks pretty good, even though it's a damn basic figure. Okay, next order of business is we need to remove this head skull, or not this head skull, we need to remove this rubber entrance jacket. We discussed it. It may be, we may address this every single time with WWE Action Figure Surgery, man, but if you have rubber accessories, don't heat them up with a hairdryer. They're gonna warp and they're gonna, they're gonna mess you up, bro. They're gonna mess you up. Don't do it. Just don't do it, okay? Just just listen to me. So that's gonna be heated up. We're all, we don't have to heat up Monta the new figures. 
because all we're doing is heating up their legs. So I don't think these jerseys are going to be in the way. Like the heat should not affect them because the heat's going to be centralized. But we also want to take off this uh, MDT jacket right here on this Dolph Ziggler so that it doesn't get heated up. So we're going to heat up this head sculpt right here. Surely all of this is, is doable, man. Surely all this is doable. Oh my lord. Okay, got our extras over here. Get that, get that. Oh yeah, the John Moxley head sculpt. I'll leave that in there as well. That way it can like, uh, it can be a little bit, you know, get a little soft on us so that it can maybe heat up and pop in there. But anyways, let's get this show on the road and finish up these figures and fix-ups. I'm not heating up the Cena shoes because I want the holes of the uh, lower legs on the Montez and the Angelo to be soft and I want the shoes to be hard. That way, you know, it'll force it in there. All right, Bradley, let's see what comes of this and see if we can get this going. Dolph Ziggler head sculpt, probably the most important. Dude, I don't... God in heaven, I thought I heated up that. Okay, I did get it off. Jesus in heaven. All right, next we're going to pop this Dolph Ziggler basic off. And we're going to pop this head sculpt onto the MDT attire. And we'll take a closer look at that in just a moment at the end there. God, got to love a good Dolph Ziggler, man. And then I guess I'll take this head sculpt and pop it on here just because, you know, it's got pink hair and it matches and it kind of may look cool. i give me another Dolph Ziggler so I don't waste that chase figure. And then we got the John Moxley head sculpt which should surely pop on here, right? Yeah, I think that works pretty good. Again, I gotta find some damn pants to put on that guy. So we'll see about that mox in just a moment. So we got that done. Next up, we have the Elite 81 head sculpt for Montez Ford. Lord in heaven. Oh, I thought I was gonna tear the damn ear, bro. It's got like that extra neck plastic right there and it easily could have torn, but uh, thankfully it didn't. And we're gonna put this one, the Elite 103, we're gonna put that on the Elite 81. And we're gonna put the bearded head sculpt onto the new Elite 103. Got that, bang, bang. Now we're gonna pop these shoes out like so. And then Angelo as well. I don't know what shoes I want to use. I'm going to try these Ultimate Cena shoes just to see what comes of it for Angelo. Put it on the wrong damn foot, you moron. That is the left foot. Again, this may not stick. I'm just kind of looking at it. Because, like, honestly, the Ultimate shoes aren't great. But I think they're better than the Elite ones. And uh, these look like the shoes that Angelo was wearing anyway. So we'll, we'll see about that. Uh, I'll play around with that. But then... I did want to plug the uh, Deluxe Cena shoes into the Montez 4 if possible. Shoving that up in there and then shove this one up in there. And again, we could we can paint the ankles or we can... Uh, we're either going to paint the ankles black or paint them in the right skin tone. But we will wait until that solidifies, see what that looks like and feels like. And I think the last thing we got to do is we got to get Liv Morgan's kick pad back on. Just like so. And then Stardust boot. Ugh. And I think that is everything we did today on WWE Action Figure Surgery, I believe. I think that's correct. Hey, let's shut the hell up and get into everything we did here today. So here's everything we did today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. Pretty successful day. I, no, I feel like, like usually we have like 10 figures up here, so it's kind of a light day, but I think it's a successful day. You know, you could throw the other Montez up here. You could throw the Liv Morgan Basic. You could throw the Ziggler Basic head swap in there, but I think we got some good quality here, and I'm pretty proud of it. I think everything turned out about how I wanted. You guys can kind of see where we're going with the mocks here. Going to be way more poseable. Going to feel way better in hand. Going to be able to get some things done. The skin tones actually match, like, heroically. It's kind of unbelievable how well these figures fit. Just got to get some pants on the guy, and he'll be off in the sunset. And I'm not really worried about the boots being too big. Doesn't really bother me that much. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I'm, I'm in the works right now of trying to establish an Ultimate Edition John Moxley. So I'm working on that. Like, if you guys have a cool formula down in the comment section below, let me know. I just want it to be really poseable and feel good in the hand and, and stuff like that. So if you guys could help me out with that, I'd be down for it. And then we do have the Liv Morgan here, the Elite 103 fix-up. This honestly looks like a chase of the Elite 85 now, and uh, I like it though. I think the head skull looks good, the knee pads look good on here. She's actually more poseable and stuff like that, so I'm actually a fan of this Liv Morgan. I, I think it feels pretty damn good. It's good Liv Morgan. Good Liv Morgan stuff right here, and I appreciate that. It, tur it turned out exactly how I thought it would, so no shockers there. 
We also have our Ziggler MDT attire. This looks damn good, man. I know he's got the overly jacked arms on here, and at a later date, I may switch out the arms for smaller arms or something like that. But, uh, you know, it's part of the attire, and I don't want to, like, ruin the, the custom itself. But these tights are, are gas, and this, this figure's gas, and the head sculpt on here looks really good. So I'll take that all day. It even has the pink details on the boots for him, so that's all money for me. Then we have our shoe swap here on Montez Ford, and you guys can't really see it, but look at that right there. I know, again, the ankles don't match, all right, but I'm going to paint it black. I'm going to paint it blue. I'm going to paint it pink. I'm going to do something. Uh, or I'm going to paint it Montez Ford skin tone. So we'll see about that. But again, that's why I ordered more, you know, more street profits just to see. But this this is better. You know, now he's not falling over forward. He can actually, like, pose around and do all the things he needs to do. The only thing he's missing as he falls forward there, that was my fault. Damn! But seriously, though, like, he, he actually does stand way better compared to uh, the Cena shoes over there. So I like the Montez Ford. That that figure right there is just straight fire. I, I love that figure, man. Great figure right here. And then the Angelo Dawkins is also great. And he has Ultimate Edition Cena shoes on here, which, again, are more accurate, probably. But uh, I like it. You know, I, I might switch out these for Deluxe Aggression shoes or the blue ones. Like, if you guys were wondering what the blue ones look like, I don't know. Like, I probably need to use these for Cena instead of using them for, for Street Profits. But we'll see about that. But the Ultimate Edition shoes do work here. But I do think that the, uh, the Deluxe are better for standing. I just think that this shoe mold is also needs to be retired. I know we're getting them on the Usos and stuff. But it is what it is, man. But then we also have the Laceless Boots here on Stardust, which is accurate. And it looks really really clean so it was a successful day man i take no regrets about it i think this was a good day of surgery and all the figures came out good clean and nice and that's all you can really ask for we didn't have any snap necks we didn't have any weird peg snappages no giraffe necks everything looks to be pretty damn clean today man and that's that's a w right there for dr whiteicus so that is going to wrap up our wwe action figure surgery episode Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on all the stuff down below. If you guys are interested in becoming patron members, definitely go check out the link in the description below. Also, a huge shout out to all of our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate them, guys. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on all these things down below. I'm getting out of here. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on My Damn Toys. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys next time. We'll never back down. We will not relent.